Hi, in this video, let's create this flipping card animation in HTML and CSS. First, let's add the markup. So I'll create a div with the class of container. And within this div, I'll create another div with the class of card. Now this div is going to contain the front side and the back side of the card. So I'll be adding two more divs. The first div will have a class of front. I'll simply duplicate this and I'll name the second div as back. Now let's add in some text. For the first div, I'll simply add front and for the second div, I'll add back. And that's all we need for the HTML. Now let's move to our CSS file. First, let's select the div with the class of card. I'll give it a height of 340 pixel and a width of 250 pixel. Next, let's select the div with the class of front and the back. We'll give them both a height of 100% and a width of 100%. Now let's give the front a background color. So I'll select the class of front and I'll give it a gradient background. So I'll say linear gradient, which starts with 0, 8, A, E, E, A, and ends with 2, A, F, 5, 9, 8. Similarly, let's also give a background color to the back. So we'll give it a linear gradient that starts with F, 8, D, A, 6, 1, and ends with F, F, 5, A, C, D. Next, let's enter the text. So I'll give the front and the back class a display of flex, justify content to the center, align items to the center. We'll increase the font size to 3EM and we'll choose a font family of lobster and it's going to be cursive. Next, let's give it a border radius of 10 pixel. And finally, let's give it a position of absolute. Now the back and the front should be positioned in relation to the class of card. So right here, we'll give this card a position of relative. Now let's center the card vertically and horizontally inside the body. So I'll select body and I'll give it a height of 100% or 100 VH. I'll say display flex, justify content to the center, align items to the center. And let's also give the body a background color, which is going to be a shade of gray. Now, as you can see by default, we're able to see the back side. However, the front side is on the rear. So let's bring the front side to the front. So we'll be using the Z index property. And right here for the class of front, we'll say Z index of two. And also let's give a Z index of one to the back. Now, when I hover over the card, I want the card to rotate by 180 degree so that we can see the back. So for that we'll be using the transform property. So I'll select the class of container. I'll say hover space card. So all I'm trying to say is when I hover over the container, I want the class of card to rotate by 180 degree on the y axis. So I'll be using the transform property. 
and I want it to rotate on the y axis by 180 degree. So let's have a look, and you can see that it is rotating by 180 degree however we are not able to see the back so we'll work on that but before that let's add in some transition so i'll go to the car, uh, class of card and i'll say transition all one second and i want it to be linear now it's a bit smoother now when i hover over the card I do not want to see the back side of the front instead I want to see the div with the class of back so right now if we hover over the front we can see the rear side of the front and that's not exactly what we want so for that we'll be using a property known as back face visibility so let's do that I'll go to the class of front and I'll add back face visibility and I'll set its value to hidden. Now let's have a look in the browser. You can see that it is still not working and this is because in order for this property to work, you need to use an other property known as transform style. And this property needs to be added to the parent element. So right now the parent of the front class is the div with the class of card. So right here for the class of card, We'll be adding the transform style property and we'll set its value to preserve 3D. Now let's have a look. Here you can see that the rear side of the front is hidden. Instead, we see the back side. However, right now we're able to see the mirror image of the back side. So we need to change the default position of the back. So let's do that. We'll go to the class of back. And we'll say transform. Rotate on the y axis. By 180 degree. And now let's have a look. And here you can see that when I hover over the front, the back is now visible. And lastly, we need to add some 3D effect. So right now there's some 3D effect that's missing. So finally, let's use the perspective property. And this property needs to be added to the parent element of the div with the class of card. So right now the parent element of the class of card is the class of container. So right here at the bottom, I'll make some space. I'll select the class of container and I'll say perspective and I'll set its value to 1000 pixel. Now if I check in the browser you can see that we have the 3D effect that we needed. However understanding the perspective property can be quite tricky so the best way to understand it is to assume the perspective as the distance between you and the computer screen. So for example, if I reduce this 1000 pixel to 100 pixel and when I hover the card, you can see that the animation seems to be quite closer. So therefore, 1000 seems to be the right value. And now you can see that we have that 3D effect that we are looking out for. And that's the way you can create a simple flipping card animation using HTML and CSS. Hope you like the video. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, have a nice day.